Well, hello, it's the first Sunday of Lent, and I'm Kathy, and I'm going to be your help with the children's story, our children's time for the season of Lent. Now, before we get started, most of what we're doing about Lent is healing. We're talking about healing. And the first, first thing that I would like to do is I would like to have you breathe with me. Y yeah, just breathe. What's that got to do with healing? Well, it has a lot to do with healing. When we take a breath in and we let it out, we take oxygen into our body. And oxygen is what we need to calm down, to, to live. But also, when we take a breath in and we let the breath out, we're also taking a bit of God into our bodies. We're taking the spirit of God into our bodies. When we hear these words from Job, the Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. So, the breath of God, the Spirit of God, needs to come into us to help us heal. So, do this with me. Everybody breathe in. Take a minute, and then breathe out through your mouth. So, breathe in through your, your nose, and breathe out through your mouth. So let's just do that one last time. Think nice and calm and breathe out. Our breasts, our souls need that breath of God. If we're to heal, we have to heal from the inside out. So this is the beginning of Lent. The season where a lot of people give things up like food, habits. Some people do new things like they volunteer or they make donations, or they, they read different books to help them. But this whole year, this whole year, in so many ways, has been Lent. Because don't you feel we've had to give up so many things, so many things, um, to, to, to make things safe, whether we chose to do it all or not. We really had no choice. So we found ourselves doing new things, taking on new ways of learning new skills that we probably never would have even considered a year and a half ago. So when we get through this hard time, to get through this hard time, we had to give up and learn new stuff. And quite truthfully, if, if you're like me, your bodies are kind of tired. Your, your, your minds are kind of tired and overwhelmed by everything they've had to learn. And your, your souls, your souls are weary of trying to keep up, of trying to do what's right. What we really need right now is healing. And healing is really, really important. And one of the most important parts of healing is telling the truth about what hurts. Think about it. Imagine if you were sick and you go to the doctor. When you arrive and the doctor asks you to describe what's wrong, you say, oh, nothing. What's the doctor going to do? He don't know what's the matter. He can't heal you. He can't fix it. You have to tell the truth. It's sort of like the song that I had on in the beginning. You can say you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, but if you're not, you're broken. So we need to heal. So we need to, to tell the truth. So we have to tell ourselves and describe what we have that is broken. So now, before we go any further, I would like you to find a sheet of paper and a pencil. Whoops, there's one in my pocket. I keep these things in my pocket all the time. Pencil, or you could find crayons or markers, or a pen, it really doesn't matter. Take a few minutes. I'll just sit here, and you can find a piece of paper. And once you have found it, and you're ready to move on, we'll get started. So, Let's consider this. Let's take the piece of paper. Now, I would suggest folding it in half. Yeah, just fold it in half. We only need half the paper. 
So take a piece of paper, fold it in half, and on one side of the paper, I want you to write down all the hurts, any of the hurts that you feel have happened because of this last year, this past year. Um, it could be sadness about missing your games, sadness missing concerts, missing time with friends, school, family. Go ahead and make a list while you make your list. I'll make my list. Okay, have you got some of your hurts written down? I have some. I could go ahead and I could like fill this whole page. There's so many things that I, I consider were the hurt, hurts from this past year. Um, for me, missing family, I miss friends. I really don't like wearing a mask. Being, being shut in my house for so long, not being able to go to a restaurant, go to a store. I know that there's some things, I know there's some kids that I have talked to about this, and they said they really missed not being able to have parties, like for their birthday, graduation parties. Um, some of them said they really missed not being able to go, go play games, baseball, being able to go swimming. A lot of things didn't happen this year. So, we have to, Acknowledge these things. We have to recognize the things that make us hurt. So are you ready to go on? Let's move on from our hurts. Let's try it. I know I'm ready to move on. Forget them. Just make them disappear. Um, what if we erase these hurt, these erase the hurts and make them go away? Let's try that. Let's try that. If you haven't erased them, now if you did it in, in a pen like I did or crayon, just scribble them out. Just scribble them out. Just scribble, scribble. Cross them out. Cross them out. There. Did that help? It didn't help me. No matter how much I erase, I can still see the hurts. They're still right there. I scribbled over them. Even if you scribbled over them, the hurts are still on the page. They're just covered up, hidden. So I guess we can't pretend that hurts never happened. I know, I know. Let's take the paper, wad it up, wad it up, and throw it on the floor. Throw it on the floor. Um, yeah, did that help? Well, I still didn't get rid of the hurts. Yeah, and it made a mess on the floor, so we better pick it up. So, that didn't work. So what if, okay, straighten out your paper. Can you do that? Straighten it all out. There's mine, straighten it all out. Okay, um, can we tear it in half? Yeah, let's tear it in half. See what we need. We're okay. Tear that in half. There. I tore it off. Goodbye. Goodbye hurts. Did it? Did it really work? Did it really make a difference? Or are the hurts still there? My hurts are still there. My hurts are. You know, there's a lot of things a lot of things that can do that. But the healing has to start with us first knowing, knowing what we've hurt or why we hurt, what it is that hurt us. We have to know that. Well, this is, this is all great, but you know what? I don't usually do this, but this is gonna have to continue. Next Sunday, we'll have to finish this. So. Whatever you do, don't lose your papers. Keep them someplace safe. Both parts, we need both sheets, don't lose them. So, and we'll come back to this the next time we're together on Sunday. So, before we all leave, let's all have a moment of prayer. I know that 
it's really reassuring to know that no matter what we're going through, that we can turn to God in prayer. That we can ask God's help for ourselves and for others. You know, and God is a true healer. He always listens. He always listens to everything that he's told and everything we say to him. He hears our prayers all the time. So make sure, if you need help, to ask God for help. And before we leave, let's finish this moment with a prayer. So, and you can try to follow. It goes, loving God, we come to you with hearts, with hands, minds, and souls in need of a healing touch. Heal us from the inside out so that we may reach out and help and heal the world around us. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you next Sunday.